The Bible is a sacred story echoed to us from the ancients. An epic revealing the great creator's pursuit of wholeness for all of creation. May we find ourselves in this amazing story. The Creator, a great and mysterious being called God, hovered over the dark waters of the earth. As God spoke, creation took shape. God pushed back darkness from light, separated sky from water, and surfaced land from the seas. God filled the air, land, and water with every kind of creature. Then, God formed a new creature to reflect God's own image. Humans were entrusted by God to care for all living things. Looking over creation, God thought, this is very good. Then God rested and set aside a day for humans to rest and enjoy being with God. God tried to protect the humans from knowing too much too soon. But the humans ignored God's instructions. They gave in to temptation, believing they could have God's wisdom right away. Soon, they began to experience struggles, and pain, and death. Before long, civilizations emerged, but humans couldn't live peacefully apart from God's ways. Selfishness turned into hatred murder and war. The earth was filled with chaos. And God's heart broke. So God sent a terrible flood, washing it all away. But God never gave up hope. In fact, God promised to bless the entire world again. It would all start through a man named Abraham. God made this sacred promise to him. God said, look around. As far as you can see, this promised land is for your family. Look up and try to count the stars. That's how many will be in your family. They will be my blessing to the entire world. Abraham and his wife Sarah laughed in disbelief. How could this come true? We've never been able to have children, and now we're too old. But they weren't too old for a miracle. After 25 years of waiting, they had a son and named him Isaac, which means laughter. Just as God promised, the number of Abraham's descendants grew and grew. They became a people known as Israel, named after Isaac's son. Next, we'll hear about Israel's remarkable rescue from slavery in Egypt. Let's continue this story right now.